Okay, so complementary events, this is when there's two outcomes. So you could have one outcome, um, for example, picking, tossing a coin, and it's either going to be heads or it's going to be tails. Uh, you're going to think about that then, that if you, uh, if you don't get heads, then you must get tails. What we represent this by is the probability, I should have an R there, the probability of A is of the event that you're after, and then the opposing part of that is A with a little dash on it. And what we know is that the possibility of those two things, the probability of those two things adds up to equal one. Um, so for example, the probability of us tossing a head is going to be uh, one half. And if we add on that the probability of the reverse of that, which is obviously a tail, that's going to equal one half as well. So one half and one half add up to equal one. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of scenarios and then see what's the complement of this. So if, if we're asked to select a red card from a, a deck of cards, what would be the complementary um, event? And it would be drawing a black card. If we want to roll a two on a dice, what would be the complementary event? And that would be rolling a one, three, four, five, or six on a roll of dice. And if you want to select a red marble from a bag of 50, it would be uh, not uh, selecting a red marble. Because we're not given enough information about the marbles um, in the bag in order to know uh, what the other options are. All right, well, we look at the idea of probability, and this looks at the idea of what we would call theoretical probability. So that's just looking at the pure numbers that are in front of you and looking to try and create a probability of something occurring. It doesn't, doesn't take into account any other factors that might occur um, as part of that process. So let's have a look at an example here where we've got blue and yellow counters, and each of the blue and yellow counters has a number one, two, or three on the back of it, okay? And so it's, it's, that information is put in this table. So we can look at this and go, right, what information are we given here? Well, a couple of things we're told here, all right? We're told that um, what's the total number of counters we're given here? And that would be adding up all of these numbers here. So this is, these are all the counters. So 10 plus 12 plus 21. So 10 and 12 is 22, and 21 is going to make that 43 blue counters. Here we've got 22 plus 20 is 42. Um, 52, 57, so we have 57 yellow counters. So 43 plus 57 is going to equal uh, 90, that's going to be 100. Now, what we should also have here is how many counters have got the number one on the back. So here, 10 plus 15 is 25, uh, 12 plus 20 is 32, and 21 plus 22 is 43, and uh, 43 plus 32 is 75, 75 plus 25 is also 100. So those two, those two should always add up. Um, if they don't, then you've made an error um, in your addition somewhere. Um, so now we know we have 100 counters in total, but we have these ones. So now we can ask questions relevant to the particular information we've got. So for example, it could be a, can a case of, what are your chances of having a blue counter that has two on the back of it? Well, that'd be 12 out of that 100. What are the chances of pulling out a yellow um, counter? Well, that'd be 57 over 100. So what we don't want to do now is have a look at a couple of questions and see how we go about solving those. Okay, so let's have a look here. We've got two questions here. First one is, what's the probability of it being a counter being two or blue? So it could be two or blue. So the chance of it being two is uh, 32 out of 100, okay? Um, and there's, there's going to be uh, those ones. Now, or blue, which is uh, 43 out of 100. Now, we can't count the 12 twice. Okay, so we need to make sure that we only count that 12 one time. Okay, so it's going to be 10 plus 12 plus 21 plus 20. Okay, so 10 plus 12 plus 21 is 43 plus the 20 is 63 over 100 of it being blue, sorry, blue or two. Okay, and effectively what you could do there is, is look at it. Okay, what are the chances of it being not 
blue and not two would give you would be the, the, the same sort of outcome. Um, now the next one looks at this idea of what are the chances of being blue and odd, okay? So it's going to be a, uh, a yellow one. So it's going to be, there's 57 of them that are, uh, are yellow, okay? And in order for it to be odd, it has to be um, a, a one or a three, okay? So you can look at this and go, well, what are the chances of it being uh, not yellow, which means blue and even, which is 12. So in actual fact, you could do 100, take away 12 over 100, equals 88 over 100, okay? And that's gonna end up being uh, 22 over uh, 25. As the, as the probability. So in this case, it was easier to actually find out what the option of it not being something was rather than it being something. 